OK, some uh, big breaking news and uh, what uh, we have been expecting as well this morning. It's fair to say, Bella, uh, there is a club announcement now on the Tottenham website. I'm reading it for the first time. It says they can announce that Nuno Espirito Santo and his coaching staff, Ian Cathro, Rui Barbosa and Antonio Diaz, have been relieved of their duties. Mm. Uh, Fabio Paratici, the managing director, said that this, I know how much Nuno and his coaching staff wanted to succeed and I regret that we have had to take this decision. Yeah, um, he says that Nuno is a true gentleman and will always be welcome here. We should like to thank him and his coaching staff and wish them well for the future. And the statement ends by saying that a further coaching update will follow in due course. But the top line of this statement is that the club can today announce that Nuno Espirito Santo and his coaching staff have been relieved of their duties. And this, of course, comes after that weekend defeat by Manchester United, the 3-0 defeat, uh, which saw many, many of their fans unhappy with the style of play, with the substitutions. Uh, we heard the boos, and uh, I'm sure we'll show you in a moment uh, some of the action from that game. But it saw Tottenham sit eighth in the Premier League at this point so on 15 points. That's already 10 behind Chelsea mm. at the top of the table, yeah. Bella. And we had been talking all morning that this was a possibility. And uh, just four months into the job, Nuno Espirito Santo is sacked by Tottenham. Yeah, we knew that Fabio Paratici, the managing director of, of football there, and Daniel Levy were holding emergency talks. Well, they've announced that the coach, as well as his coaching staff, just to reiterate, Ian Cathro, Rui Barbosa and Antonio Diaz, all relieved of their duties. And Paratici saying that he's a true gentleman and will always be welcome here. So no update, as you'd expect yet, on you know who might replace Nuno. But we know that he wasn't the first choice when he came in to replace Mourinho. Yeah. We will, of course, keep you updated. Well, let's have a look at their fixtures then, Bella. We can see them here because this is what whoever comes in to replace it, Nuno will have to face. It's Everton first on Sunday and then it's a game against Leeds live on Sky Sports before Burnley, Brentford, Norwich and Brighton. So you would say it is quite a nice uh, opening start if they manage to get a permanent manager in uh, as quickly as Sunday. You'll remember after sacking Jose Mourinho at the end of last season, before the League Cup final, it was Ryan Mason who came in uh, an interim charge and then Nuno took over in the summer. But he has lasted just four months.